Hi, and welcome to the incredible life of Cat. I just liked a bunch of boxes in the house. My haul came. This is from the flash sales for Easter. There was $2.95 soaps, and later in the day, there was $5.50 body care and $12.95 candles. Um, Hudson's in here. If you watch my previous videos, you already know Fred's in here and Peanut's in here and he's sniffing the boxes. So I pre um opened the tape, but I didn't look at the boxes. And there's there's some damage. One of these boxes is soaked. Oh, this box looks like uh it had a leak in here of some kind. I don't know if you could see that. So, yeah. But I bought 17 soaps. Because, yeah, I'm not running low on soap, but these are, every single one of them seem to be um, covered in something. So, <laughs> this one is citrusly my favorite sugared lemon zest, so I'm gonna have to wipe everything down. It appears to be full. And yeah, if you haven't already, you can like and subscribe to my channel. Apparently, I've been getting some very damaged boxes lately. Um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. And the best part was everything is laid on its side in this box, and this box was on its side on my porch. So, here is ice lemon pound cake. This seems to be full. Okay, the notes. Let's get to the notes. Notes on this one are Sorrento lemons, sugar mint, and fresh verbena. Notes for this one are glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. So I'm gonna have to call them. I'm just I'm thinking the stuff still is in there. We've got Wild for you, Cherry Frost. I like getting these ones because I don't mind them. I don't mind like the cutesy kids stuff and my daughter will wash her hands more often when I use these. Notes are red cherry, citrus, and frozen berries. So yeah, I'm a bit upset about this. Um, I've got Hip Hop Hooray, which is cotton tail cake pop. And this is delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. I I feel like I need some Clorox wipes. <laughs> We've got strawberry pound cake, which is straw fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I didn't find what actually leaked in here yet. Um, another strawberry pound cake. What's this one? This one is Danbury shortbread, which I'm pretty excited to try. I'm trying not to knock things over. We have another ice lemon pound cake, and this is in the cleansing gel. I kind of um, go between both. I can't see where anything actually leaked in this, though. Um, we have Chasing Daydreams. This is another one that I I don't know if it actually came out in body care, but it did. I want to say it did, and I saw it at the store, but they didn't have a mist for it. Um, it's bright orange zest, glowing magnolias, and sparkling sun rays. I might be mistaken on that. Maybe it was chasing fireflies. Chasing daydreams or chasing fireflies. Oh, chasing fireflies is a scentsy warmer. So we'll find out. We have another um, my favorite. Another one of the citrus be my favorite. I'm running out of places to put these. <laughs> these are ice cold, by the way. Today it's like going to be in the 60s. Over the weekend, it was in the 40s, and it had snowed. And then by the end of the week, it's going to be in the 70s or 80s. So, interesting weather. We've got You're the Doggone Best. I know Sid is going to take this one because it's got a dog on it. It's got rainbow cereal. I also like the scents of these, just to let you know. I'm just going to set them next to me. I'm wearing sweatpants, so I'm fine. Another Wild For You Cherry Frost. This is the one that I was like, oh, I'll try brightest bloom where I ended up just buying the stuff anyway and the notes for this lily of the valley jasmine sandbag garden carnations and fresh cedarwood so now I'm wondering if all the views that I'm getting are like because it's turning comical because everything's busted open I don't know it's a very busted one we've got 
pink kiwi strawberry and i think i've had this one before this is sweet kiwis candied citrus and sunny orchids yeah all of these seem to be full i just need to wipe them off that's weird um we've got another hip hop hooray cottontail cake pop I like my gourmands, so please don't judge me. Delicious cake batter, rainbow sprinkles, and fluffy buttercream. I have a feeling I'm going to fight with Sita over that one. And we have another of the iced lemon pound cake. And another you're the, go the doggone best. So um, I didn't necessarily need a refill per se, but I know that I did need hand soaps because with the exception of those, they all now fit under my sink. And I go through a lot, anywhere between five and 10 a month. Not just me, my daughter uses it, my husband uses it, any guests use it. So, we go through a lot of hand soap. And I'm, I'm huge on hand soap and hand sanitizer only because my COVID incident, my family's experiences with COVID, and also because like when we couldn't find hand soap anywhere during the COVID pandemic. So this box isn't as bad as it seems. I still don't know why it's like that, but <clears throat> that'll be okay. Now for the other two boxes. <laughs> um, I don't know why they pack them this way sometimes. So the first one, we have Gingham Gorgeous. I almost say Gingham Love. We have a spray and the cream. Um, I wasn't going to get the cream, but you know, I, I used this the other day for something and I really did appreciate it. So I'm stocking up while I can. The notes are pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. And absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And to get free shipping, you had to hit a threshold that I was like a dollar from, so I got this extra little handbag holder. I put these in my little bin that I have full of handbag holders. And then um, if I need a gift or something, I usually gift one of these with it and put a handbag in there. Speaking of which, I might like not de-stash, but gift something to my daughter's teacher. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet though. So. We have blush, amber, and peony. I've been really experimenting with florals again, um, mainly in candles, but some in body care, as you can see. This one, I'm not sure about. The notes are Sweet Peony, Warm Musk, and Golden Pear. That actually smells nice, and I think it's going to make a really nice candle, and it is a beautiful candle. Um, with my ventures with Sunsea, I found that I do appreciate more floral and fresh and musky scents. I'd like to try it in body care, but I am kind of, when I'm able to, I'm making sure I go to the store to try it instead of just going by notes. Unless there's a, any, I can't, there's maybe a handful of particular YouTubers that I can like trust their nose when they're not a floral fan, but they try florals. So, <laughs> We're going with that. I'm also going to try the Love You Mom Pink Lilac and Vanilla 3 Wick Candle. And this one is... Okay, good. No, it's in shape. It's just uh, ice cold. Fresh Lilac Bouquet, Dewy Greens, and Vanilla Blossom. Um, it might be a little bit on the green side, so I don't know if I would ever try something like this in body care, but don't mind it as long as it's not overpowering the candle. And my husband's going to give me the side eye when he sees all those soaps. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys are going to see that. You might see the shower gel video before this one. I don't know. I haven't put that up yet, but we're scheduled it yet. But he's going to, he was making his commentary about how there's no space in the bathroom. This has glue on it. All right, on the front of it. So I'm going to have to get that off. Um, it is Cherry Blossom Pound Cake. I burned this one the other day and I really like it. I did not think I would because I'm not really a fan of Cherry Blossom. But I did like it. So I like it in the candle. I'm still not trying it in the body care. Not at that point in my life yet. And then the other box. 
No judgment, please. This one has another candle. This one is a second candle. Um, and this is the hummingbird tea cake. I wasn't sure when this was going to go away and I wanted to get at least one back up because I really did enjoy it when I burned it the other day. And the notes are pineapple cake batter, cinnamon, spice, and toasted pecans. It is a really, really nice fragrance. Peanut has the zoomies and he likes to get Larry involved. So sorry about that. At least Hudson can behave himself. And then I have a set of, another set of Gingham Gorgeous. And I go through this pretty quickly. I've been doing good on my body care. So we also have another set of Tutti Fruity Candy. I really love this fragrance. I really, really do. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. Next one we have, I did smell it in the store after purchasing it. I want to smell it again. I'm not going to try the, lo the lotion because this stuff is like really cold. Um, this is the Apple. I got the moisturizer and then I do have from the 595 sale, I have a shower gel coming. And then I got the Fine Fragrance Mist. This is Apple, Strawberry, and Rain. I'm kind of nervous because the last one that had rain in it wasn't so great. But I think I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. I'm going to let it dry down from it before I really give my opinion because um, last time I let something dry down, you know, it didn't go well. Ooh, I like that. It smells comparable to something. There's something Apple I was going to compare it to, and now I can't remember what that was. It's not winter candy apple. There is something else that I was going to compare it to. Oh, I don't remember. It smells good though. I like it. I'll have to try, you know, of course, try it as a set to find out. And then the other one that I wanted to try was Pink Obsessed. This is Blushing Jasmine, Cashmere Praline, and Vanilla Bourbon. So it has, this actually seems like it would have something in common with the strawberry one. Let's wait and see. I have a hunch that I'd like this one. I heard it was kind of like Aqualina Sugar. And then I heard it was like something else. And I apologize for my earlier video on um, the Viva Vanilla. Um, it's Everyday Luxuries is the name of the line that came from. I could not remember what the life of me. That is similar to Aqualina Sugar. I don't think it's the same though. My bottle of Aqualina Sugar I gave to my sister to try. So I don't have, I do still have the perfume, but I don't want to get up and go get it. There's something about that apple that reminds me of something else. Ooh, this is nice. Not super strong, but I like it. So Pink Obsessed, uh, we like this one. Not sure what I'm going to pair it with. I might just do it with the whole warm vanilla sugar thing again, just to try it and see because I don't have a lot of non-bath and body works not sugary stuff to put it with and I don't have a lot of plain stuff either most of the time if I have like a plain lotion I will kind of leave it for my husband for his use so he doesn't have to smell like a girl all the time but that is everything for my haul and I'm gonna go wipe down some soaps before I have to go get my kid at school talk to you later bye